So then, it's official. Chapter 6 for Battlefield 5 is called Into the Jungle. And tomorrow, January 28th, we're going to be getting a new trailer for the chapter. It's going to include gameplay and a breakdown of what we can expect from the chapter over the next couple of months. Things have been pretty quiet from DICE over the last few weeks since the team came back from Christmas, but it seems now we are very close to kicking things back off again with a continuation of the Pacific Theatre and a brand new multiplayer map. Now, for those of you who maybe missed my previous couple of videos where we detailed what we know so far about Chapter 6, then, well, here's a quick recap for you. The chapter will launch with that brand new multiplayer map, so on day one, I think we will be able to play it. It's the one that you can see on screen right now, and it's called Jungle at the moment. That's the only name we really have. But by tomorrow, I'm pretty sure the trailer will give us that proper name. The map has been teased quite a few times already, and based on leaked information from the game files, which still at this moment in time is not confirmed information, we do know the map will have beaches, bunkers, outposts, and grassy open areas, as well as that dense jungle which will contain a river. Also, DICE will be releasing more weapons and gadgets with Chapter 6, but instead of these weapons or gadgets being part of the Tides of War, they will instead be added to the chapter rank system. And that's going to keep them available for all players for longer so that they don't have to unlock them on that very week where they're highlighted. Now, this change so far has received some positive and negative feedback. The positive feedback is that you don't have to play within that week to get that weapon because it's part of a progression system now instead of just a limited time unlock system. And then the negative feedback because we don't really know how much grinding we're going to have to do. It could be really difficult to get these guns, or it, it could be really, really easy. And because the ranks can be bought with real money, or the Boyne's in-game currency, people can shortcut their way to getting the weapons early. Now, time is really going to tell what kind of effect that might have, but I'm sort of leaning towards the negative at the moment. If you miss my opinion on that, then I'll link another video that I made the other day. Now, some of the weapons likely to be included are the M2 carbine, the M3 infrared sniper carbine, the Type 11 light machine gun, and the lunge mine. That was previously a Chapter 5 gadget that ended up being delayed. And then, as part of a future patch that will be coming out during Chapter 6, it's called Update 6.2, DICE will be almost completely reverting the TTK and weapon balance of the game back to pre-update 5.2 levels with some tweaks, it's not completely the same, after listening to community feedback. Update 5.0, that's going to be used as the baseline for this new balance point instead of update 5.2 and the hotfix that nobody in the community really liked, and DICE is going to be employing less severe damage drop-off values this time around. We're going to see increased recoil again and increased lethality in close quarters. As I say, it won't be exactly the same as it was before, but apparently it's going to be very close to that, and so if that turns out to be true, then I'll be a happy battlefielder again. So, tomorrow then, we'll have a proper idea about what DICE really has planned for Chapter 6. Make sure you tune in to the trailer when it goes live tomorrow. I've linked it in the description and on the screen for you, so you can go and bookmark it or whatever you want to do. And then afterwards, head over to my channel and I'll be breaking down all of the information and pretty much covering everything possible to make sure everyone knows what's coming in Chapter 6. But thanks very much for watching today, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.